All right, guys, today we got an unboxing of the Finerci DSO-152. It's a mini oscilloscope that I'll be using for setting my gains on my amplifier install in my 2019 Hyundai Accent. I'm going to go ahead and unbox this thing and show you all what you get for 28 bucks. Right now it's on Amazon. $31.99 with a 10% off coupon with two-day shipping. If anybody's curious I'm not affiliated so there won't be any links or anything um, yeah we'll go ahead and get started so in the box you're gonna get some stuff behind here you'll get the unit that meant the DS 0152 and then in the back you'll get some alligator clips to check signals USB-A to C charging cord a lanyard user manual And the unit itself. Got some protective shield on it. Let's spin this around for a minute or two so that way you guys can see all the sides of it, how it looks. That's your reset button. That's your charging indicator light. That's your charging port. That's your lanyard hole. This is your toggle switch and clicks into. There's your jack for your alligator clips. Your calibration point for your sine wave or not sine wave, your square wave, sorry. power button, auto button, mode button, directional up and downs, and your run button. Plastic, and then you have a kickstand on the back. Let's go ahead and turn this thing on. Long press to turn on and short press to turn off. So I'm going to go over a few things with this real quick, kind of run you guys through what the features are and how to use them a little bit. So you have, of course, those buttons I just told you about. Um, let's see if you hold this button it controls the parameter selections you can see that little blue light moving as you toggle um, that's for short press on that left and right that's all that one does uh, you can short press in on this OK button toggle button uh, the short press is exit auto calibration page and then when you long press it, it enters the automatic calibration page. Calibrating. Then you would press run. Um, clicking on it will basically short press, just exit it. So when you hold on on it, they're in calibration. When you short press it, you'll come out. Next is a short press for your right toggle which is just controlling parameters again. So left or right controls which parameters you want. The auto short press is an automatic adjustment. Uh, frequency below 45 hertz cannot be calibrated correctly. So just keep that in mind if you're trying to calibrate below like 35. If you're in 30 or 35 hertz, you're not going to be able to use the scope on that. It's probably because the screen's so small 
that even if you move your guideline all the way down, you still won't be able to see the top of the wave. Um, understandable though for a two and a half, uh, two and a, two and an eighth, almost two point eight inch screen. Um, screen is three twenty by two forty resolution. Resolution high definition is what it says. I'm gonna bring this a little bit closer, guys. And then, uh, you know, we'll go through a couple more. Um, mode button. Let's see, auto short press. Yeah, I already told you about that. The mode button at short press is an auto signal or normal switching. Um, see there, auto and single, normal. It's going to be your... Uh, trigger switch what triggers it um, the auto is a little bit slow but you'll be able to work with it it'll be fine um, long press on that is the rising edge fall on uh, switch which is right there so if you long press mode you can see that switch over and then parameter adjustments basically if you're trying to go up and down say with one of those lines or guideline you just basically can hold up on or down on it to move that line which will adjust your wave accordingly uh, those are both short press buttons so there's no other features for those the run button with a short press it runs and pauses the waveform enter auto calibration uh, page so Long press is to show close, show and close detail parameters. So all these white uh, letters up here should go away. No. Oh. Yeah. Nope, that's not working. Oh, it's because I'm in there. Gotcha. There you go. So yeah, this thing uh, basically has a 2.5 millisecond per second response time, which is pretty quick. Uh, the bandwidth is, I apparently, it goes down lower than 45, but you can't measure and tweak anything correctly at 45 or below. Um, so we'll say 45 hertz to 20,000 hertz, so 200 kilohertz. If you're looking to use this on like LEDs, people say that you need something that's probably 500K or above. So this wouldn't be the unit for you, but for sound and adjusting amp gains, this will be the perfect little unit to do that on. Voltage range is uh, on the X1 right here is 40 volts plus or minus. And if you change that to 10x, you're going to be able to get up to 400 volts of measuring. Coupling method, that's this, AC and DC. Let's switch that with these. Uh, has a 1000 milliamp battery. The size is 99 millimeters from here to the other side, 68 millimeters from here down, and 19.5 millimeters thick. 100 grams, guys, is what this thing weighs. Um, it's really small. You can see it. But yeah, if you do like, you know, your friend's car audio, stuff like this, this would be a good little unit to have. Um, just to make sure nothing's clipping or anything like that. But yeah, guys, I'm excited to be able to finally install my amp and do it properly. Um, so yeah, whenever I get that ready to go, we will see another video. We'll do an amp install. Yep, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want one of these, go ahead and go to Amazon and pick one up. $28.50, I think, for this. So it's a deal, bro. Y'all have a good one. Hope you enjoyed the video.